the Obama administration wants to forgive the federal student debt of tens of thousands of students who attended the now bankrupt Corinthian colleges. But the program doesn't end with Corinthian. It could expand to debt relief for a much larger number of students. The Secretary of Education announcing a massive federal loan forgiveness program for borrowers who can show they were lured to colleges by fraudulent recruiting. The plan is designed to aid former students of Corinthian colleges. Once one of the largest for-profit education companies in the U.S., it closed its doors and filed for bankruptcy last month after federal officials accused the chain of lying to prospective students about graduate success in finding jobs. It's good news that the department has recognized that students who were defrauded by Corinthian and other schools need to have their loans discharged and are committed to setting up a process that hopefully will be quick and fair for doing that. The U.S. Education Department says loan forgiveness could extend far beyond the 350,000 Corinthian students who applied for and received debt relief over the past five years. The cost of erasing that debt alone could be as much as three and a half billion dollars. The price tag could be much higher since under the new plan, any loans made directly by the federal government could be forgiven, as long as the borrower can show they were defrauded by the college under state law. But that could be difficult to prove, especially when it comes to colleges reported job placement success. Schools do this all the time. Uh, where do we draw the line between advertisement and puffery and fraud? Uh, I, I think it's going to be a stretch to say that there's actually fraud involved here. The Education Department said a so-called special master will be appointed in a few weeks to create procedures for borrowers to apply for debt relief. We would like to see them able to do that in a more streamlined fashion and particularly where there's already clear government evidence of fraud that they shouldn't have to jump through any hoops. Education officials say the goal is to identify fraudulent practices at schools, hold them accountable for their actions, and ensure defrauded borrowers get the debt relief they are entitled to. But at this point, some say the emerging plan may not do much. It seems too vague. Uh, it, procedurally, it would be unworkable. And frankly, I, I just don't think it's going to help the people that actually need the help. Critics also say the new federal loan forgiveness plan sets a bad precedent of putting taxpayers on the hook for the fraudulent actions of some colleges. But, Tyler, some advocacy groups say the plan could have gone even further to provide blanket relief to defrauded borrowers.